so the power available at point two if you look at this um, uh, psi drop from 100 psi so at point one we had uh, the pump was developing about 100 psi and then um, at point one we have pressure 100 psi now to if we calculate the power from this um, 100 psi it's going to be pq by 1714 where p is in psi and q is in gallon per minute so in this case we get 100 psi times the pump was producing 50 gallon per minute divide by 1714 i got an extra zero there so if i calculate this i found 2.9 horsepower that's the power at point one if we calculate power at point two p2 which is power capital p p1 power small p pressure so we can write down basically pressure at point two we calculated uh, 64. Point uh, eight so 64.8 psi times 50 gallon per minute divided by 1714 i think this was calculated uh, let's get that value 1.89 So because of the elevation, it lost a uh, lot of power, hydraulic power at point two. Uh, however, the system is not this um, less efficient. If you have to talk about the efficiency of the system, the only loss you have is that loss we have calculated because of the pipings and fittings. And that was calculated, uh, that loss was 1.16 uh, um, feet of water. If I um, convert this to pressure, is about 0.5 uh, psi. So the loss of power, if you want to calculate that, that would be 0.5 psi times 50 divided by 1714. So that number I got was uh, 0.0146 psi. So in fact, it's not really losing much uh, we don't have much hydraulic power available because of the system has to work 80 feet of elevation against 80 feet of elevation so that uh, power hydraulic power is converted to potential energy at point two uh, where is that right here so that 80 feet of uh, elevation gain um, needs power from the system so that's how uh, this uh, power at point two, hydraulic power, uh, 1.89 horsepower, almost half, 2.9, uh, basically because of that elevation gate. Now, if you want, really want to calculate the efficiency, then you shouldn't be using this power loss, only this loss we have to account for, which is, um, so then uh, it will be 2.9 horsepower minus the loss, one four six so divide by the 2.9 so that would be about almost a uh, ninety nine point nine five percent of efficient i think ninety nine point five percent sorry ninety nine point five percent um efficient system most of the hydraulic systems are very efficient um and if there is no law leaks um so they're almost 95 96 90 percent over 90 percent efficient system